Morning girls. Um, it's about 5.45 in the morning. I'm getting ready for work and I wanted to squeeze in a really quick um, Weight Watchers update for you. I didn't uh, do one last week. Super sorry about that. So I guess this is going to be update um, weeks 10 and 11. And um, yeah, so here we go. Um, my last update I did do was week nine and that was uh, not a good report. You know, we had gone out of town and we ended up, you know, eating some things we shouldn't have and, you know, all that. So I put on a couple pounds. It didn't really, you know, I don't really have an official number for you, but I'm sure it was probably like a pound and a half or something like that. But it came off rather quickly, which is good. Um... But anyways, uh, for week 10, um, I did really good. Um, didn't get as much exercise in as I wanted to, but that's always the story. I just really suck at exercising. And I gotta switch hands. <laughs> but um, I ended up, um, for week 9, Monday, when we went to weigh in, I ended up losing 1.2 pounds. So I lost what I gained the week before, plus 1.2, because it was 1.2 from there. Uh, the Weight Watchers um, records, so, um, and they, you know, they didn't know that I had a bad week because I don't really t like to tell them that um, I had missed that meeting in that way and all together. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, lost 1.2 for week 10, which put me at an overall loss of 17 pounds, which rocks super awesome, awesome, awesome. Love that number. Um, Sorry, I'm still, I'm in my pajamas, and I'm recording in my massage room if you're wondering what's behind me. My husband is sleeping in uh, in our bedroom, and I can't record a video in there, obviously, while he's sleeping at 5.30 in the morning. But, um, okay, so now to go into week 11. Um, again, didn't get a lot of work out in. I was just, we were working in our backyard and, you know, putting up our patio cover, which... Um, I'm going to do a final video because it's really close to being almost done and I've been working so much um, doing massage and it's just, my life has been crazy. So I had really no time to work out, but I did, um, you know, fairly good in, in my eating. I didn't, I think I went into my weekly points this week, which normally doesn't happen. I think I used maybe five um, of my weekly points, which, you know, whatever. I, I do have 38 points, which is more than most people have because, you know, I'm 5'10 and I, I carry more weight. So, obviously, I have more points to use. So, um, anyways, where was I? I lost my train of thought. I just got up not that long ago. Um, anyway, oh, so when I went to weigh in, I basically, I worked all day Monday. I came home. I took a, I took a nap. Um. Monday as in yesterday Monday um yeah I came home I took a really quick nap I woke up like 10 minutes before my meeting and I like threw on some clothes and just went to the meeting and um I you know I was only down 0.4 so you know I don't think that I think that because I had to work normally I don't work on Mondays and you know I didn't uh normally I don't you know eat a whole bunch of protein and stuff to give myself energy on my weigh-in days because protein kind of sticks around and I had probably, you know, f three liters of water, which I know is good, but also that sticks around with you. So I don't know if that kind of affected my number at all. If I, you know, still carrying some, some food weight and water weight around. Um, I need to really start thinking about switching and going into Saturday meetings um, early morning. Um, only because I just think it's a better, a better time to weigh yourself. It's more of a true weight and you don't have to think about what you've eaten throughout the day that's affecting your, your weigh in number because I want mine to be as true as possible. I go there in just a tank top and kind of like what I have on now and a pair of spandex like little, um, leggings, I guess you could say. And I just weigh in and just that because it's like the lightest amount of clothing that I own and, you know, I want my weight to be as close to um, as close to true as possible anyways so yeah I mean that put me at an overall weight loss for week um, 11 for a set of 17.4 pounds um, it's not where I wanted to be at this point but you know 
it's just progress. You know, you can't, I can't be upset about that. You know, we, we have our ups, we have our downs, we have our, you know, good times and all that other stuff. So, yeah, I just, I just got to keep tracking on it and um, keep my, you know, positive attitude that, you know, I'll get to where I need to get to and um, I will hit 25 pounds eventually. It's just going to take some time. Um, but uh, I'm going to do uh, probably another video that relates to weight loss and TTCing. Well, maybe I'll just add it into this one because I'm not going to really have time. So, yeah, like I said, I, I did want to lose 25 pounds before um, my husband and I got pregnant. But, um, like, and then I said, you know, I would settle for 20 to lose 20 before we start trying which I'm really close to, you know, I'm only 2.6 pounds away. So, um, I'm hoping that I can get that off in the next two weeks. Eww. That's, uh, kind of hard to, hard to do, maybe three. So that's a little bit more, a little more easy to, to think about. Um, so yeah, 2.6 pounds in two or three weeks. And then, um, it'll be TTCing time, which is awesome. Uh, I'm excited that we're doing this the right way this time, you know, getting a little, little healthier before we start um, to try again when my doctor is really excited about the fact that I've lost weight too. So that is my update for weeks 10 and 11. Um, again, sorry I missed last week. Crazy. My life is insane. And yeah, just keep on following me and I hope you guys all have a really great week and talk to you soon. Bye. I totally forgot to say that um, as far as my exercise goes, I'm really, really, really going to try this week to get in more exercise, more actual physical cardio, and I'm going to start doing some ab works because as I'm losing weight, I mean, I'm not really toning anything in my core area. So, you know, my, my stomach's not really looking any flatter, even though my clothes are fitting better. I don't know if that makes any sense. So I'm really going to try and get some um, of my, you know, exercise in. I'm going to try and, my husband's going to try and get me to do some sit-ups and tr walk more. And, yeah, I'm also going to try and do some of my Biggest Loser on my Xbox Connect. But I still don't have the room in my living room to do that properly, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but, yeah, so... Well, really gonna hope for my week 12 to have a good loss because I'm really gonna try and and get a lot of exercise in this week. So, all right, forgot to add that in. And again, have a good week. Talk to you soon. Bye.